Hello and welcome to my channel Crying Fly. My name is Steve and in this video today I will show three ways how you can install this 3D software flash print on your Linux system. Okay, now you can see I'm here on this website here, www.flashforge.com and on this side we get some information about this uh, software here, what I use for one of my 3D printers. Then I have the 3D printer Flashforge Dreamer and for this printer I use this uh, free software here. But it's important for me that you know that I doesn't make here any promotion for uh, this software here or the 3D printers from this uh, company. And this is very important for me to say this to you, okay? So then we come to the next step where I show you the first way how you can install this software here on Linux. So you go here on the menu bar and here you have this point here, download center. And when you click on this one, you come to this side here where you have some points here on the left side where you can select the software. Okay, I click here on flash print download and then we have here three options uh, for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. And we have also here the option to select an older version of this uh, 3D software, okay? So, but it's so when you think that you can uh, downloading this one here and install on your system, then it's so it doesn't work on any Linux distributions because it's so this version here is only for here only for Debian based systems and so you can't use this uh, version here or this Debian package here for maybe for OpenSUSE Leap or Tumbleview or for Manjaro or other Linux distributions, okay? This is only for uh, Ubuntu, Linux Mint or Debian, PopOS and so on. But uh, we have two options here where we can use also this Debian package for maybe for uh, OpenSUSE Leap or Tumbleview. With this tool here, Alien, and this Alien tool um, converts maybe here this Debian package to an RPM package. And so we can also install FlashPrint on our system when we use maybe uh, OpenSUSE Leap on our system, okay? And we have also a second option where we can use the Stabian file. When we use my way here on my project, FlashPrint 3D printer software, what you can found here on my GitHub channel Crying Fly. And when I scroll down, then you get here as installation script for OpenSUSE Leap and Tumbleview. When I click on this link, then we come into the script. And here you can see what happens here. The first one is we install some packages here, libclue1 and libqt5 OpenGL5. Uh, and we updating here also the system. And the next one is where my script create a folder names with the name FlashPrint. Then we ch change into this folder. The next one is where my script downloading this uh, Debian file here. This one here. And then my script extract this Debian package file. And then we get a uh, a file with the name data.tar.xc and this file we must also extract and then you can see here on these 
five lines here that my script copy some files and folders to our root file system and when it's done then we must make a restart and after the restart we have here maybe here on my system uh, the options here where we can uh, search for flash print maybe here you can see two one because my third way is uh, that we can install flash print uh, as a flat pack app but now i will show you uh, that this uh, second way here with my script here also works here and on open source leap maybe here you can see this one uh, here and when i start this program now here you can see it works very well and here is the version number 4.6.4 and so we have the same version number like uh, where is it like this one here okay so we have the newest version so and so we can hear um, changing something here maybe I open the snake SDL okay and now you can see here we can changing something maybe this one here okay you can also moving this one and center okay or this one and yes it works okay so then i closing this and no and i will show you the third way where you can also use this 3d software on your linux system and this is here uh, where you get this software as a flatpak app so you must uh, install flatpak on your system and then you can install this uh, 3d software on your system here's the setup guide here then you must select maybe here open SUSE, and then you can see here uh, this instruction how you get to work correctly flatpak on your system but it's so that you can also find in my video descriptions a uh, link and when you click on this link then you come to one of my videos where I show you how you can install Flatpak on your system and also where I show you some tips and tricks okay so then I closing this and yes but the problem is here by this Flatpak uh, app that you get here an older version and this version is here 4.6.1 and this is the reason why I have uh, created uh, this script here then with this script you get here maybe on open source leap 15.3 the latest version here uh, with the version number 4.6.4 uh, and it's also so that you can changing this script here for your linux distribution maybe for arch linux or manjaro or fedora and when you have changed this one then you can also install flash print on your system okay but it's so that i will changing this uh, script here in the next time that you can use this script also maybe on fedora or arch linux okay so that was for today and uh, if you like it my video then where's good when you give me a thumb up please and don't forget to subscribe to my channel crying fly and don't forget to click on the little bell so you don't miss any news in the future okay goodbye